unless they win tonight. It's the team seeking perfection against the team trying to make their journey legendary. So the final seconds will tick off and the Lakeville North Panthers will win section 1AA for the second straight year. The Panthers are going to the state hockey tournament. And Dave, last year Lakeville North came into this tournament with a losing record and obviously did not win the championship this year. They come in as one of the favorites. They do, and that's going to be an interesting point to see how tight Coach Eichner has his team ready. They're at number two seed in this tournament. They're feeling very confident with that. But with that, comes a little bit more pressure this year. And a 1-0 lead. As Rosa gets the first one. Right back into the middle and a 2-1-2. Two
it up. Two on two the other way, cutting to the middle. Get some help from Snuggerud. Two seconds left to go, and we go to OT. Well, 4-4 four, four, first semifinal game. And you know, Gary, we wouldn't have thought we were going to have overtime after that first period when we had five shots, or nine uh, shots, five goals. And all of a sudden, we got 19-19 right now, and it's 4-4. Four, four. Well, Th and overtime games this season for uh, Lakeville. They've... Uh, gone 2-1-1 one, and one in overtime games. Eden Prairie in OT. 3-0-3. Oh, Eden Prairie's had quite a few of them, but they've been accustomed to them, and fortunately for them, they've been accustomed to them lately in the, in the regionals, and that that was pressure. Played a team like Benil, and actually they scored a shorthanded goal in overtime to win. But both of these clubs have quality scorers on their team, and the key is to limit their opportunities. Can't control. And that's probably going to do it here in this first overtime period. It will. They'll just rank it back. Nobody scores in the first overtime. It remains a 4-4 game. And the way they're going, it doesn't look like anybody's going to score because we're not getting the kind of chances and goals we got in the first period. And we remain tied here at the end of the first overtime period as the clubs will leave the ice and will resurface and come back for 20. Along with all the other things, as Snugger Road has been uh, packed up on that bad left hand that he's got also looks like uh, maybe needs a little help with that right leg. Yes. Maybe the skate. No, I think it, maybe his knees bothered him a little bit. Exactly yeah. like that. But a lot of hockey. Only one penalty has been committed in this game. One power play that Lakeville had early in the game and uh, obvious and did not convert on. That's been it. I think this tournament, the officials in this tournament, I've been very impressed with. I think they've done a heck of a job. After Arkansinger slashes McNeely down in the corner. Chance for the game winner on the power play. Their second power play chance of the game. And only the third penalty we've had. Arkansinger at 726 of the overtime on the slash. Leaves it here Sadik. Sadik really wanted to set it up the side of the net. Couldn't connect on the pass. It'll be cleared up. Great hold. Sadik able to hold it in. Annabeck with a minute eight left on this power play. Next goal wins. Somebody is going to be a hero tonight. Somebody is going to be a legend.
reporter David LeMay. We are on location at Lakeville North's Ames Arena, home of the number one class AA team in the state. We've always wanted to be in this position and we've just always worked hard and I think that's the main reason why we're number one right now. Goal since day one has been a state championship this year. The group in itself is, uh, they have high expectations. I don't think it's anything other than you know, kind of a springboard from last year, and then uh, a group of guys that really look forward to having that experience again. And David, you know, when you listen to them, they are so confident. They want to be up in this season. They want to head back to that state championship game. When you look at their team as a whole, they lost that high goaltender, replaced him very quickly with another really good one, and they've got that poor team. So this team is still pretty strong. Six Division One players, the starting six, are all Division One commits, and they're good behind them as well. These are the teams that have been in the tournament, they've made the run, they've gone through those battles, and have got a real nice top pick group, but you've also got guys behind them that are experienced and gritty. That's a great combination. Candy cane, drop the top, pop it, let it bang. For this life, I cannot change. You're walking through the mall and people are asking you for your autograph. We were 18 year olds, we like candy cane. Drop the top, pop it, let it bang. Drop the top, play hide and see. Jump inside, jump straight to the lead. Take a sip, feel just how I be. On freeway. But no, ain't nothing free. Been laws, been lanes, been busting bills, but still ain't nothing changed. This team have now won 27 straight for the second longest streak. What will it take to beat this team? was a phenomenon, to use the cliche, of kind of a perfect storm. I always say that's the hardest thing to do in sports, to be better than your hype. This was the most hyped team of all time. When they finally got together, they delivered in a way that we, we didn't think was possible. How could they not be in the conversation with the greatest team ever? By wins totals, by quality of opposition, by what they did to the opposition? Of course they did. By the roster, of course, in every conceivable way, they'd be in the conversation. For the 27th time, Hill Murray is getting ready for their opening game at the Boys State Hockey Tournament. In the other locker room, Lakeville North is trying for perfection. 28 and 0. Three more wins, and they can be the first team to go undefeated since Bloomington Jefferson in 1993. Somebody will beat them. They will take a night off at some point. Lakeville North comes into this tournament the number one seed, and they get Hill Murray. That's a tough draw in the quarterfinal. It is, but Trent Iker and his staff have given the kids. 
decides what they want to do conceptually, they have them ready to go. And I think all his coaching philosophy tonight is open up the gate and stay out of the way and let the thoroughbreds go. How do you get this thing down here in the third period? Oh, well, uh, we're not going to change anything. As Lakeville North gets it to the middle, out in front, backhand, they score. Taylor Schneider was the one who set that up. May have gotten it to Ennebach out in front to score the goal. And he will just kind of hold on to it, wait for those final seconds to tick off. The Lakeville North Panthers will stay undefeated, and they will move to the semifinals as the number one seed. They are the bar. They're as good as anybody in the state. They're the team to beat. They deserve to be undefeated the way they play. I have a feeling they're going to really turn off these next two games. Pressure's off now. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the second double-A semifinal. Features the champions of Section 6 with a record of 19-9, the Eden Prairie Eagles. Against the champions of Section 1 with a record of 29-0, the Lakeville North Panthers. Sullivan want to go back to Safford, said takes the shot, save it, rebound comes up high, shoe a shot. This could be a three on one. In shot. state championship tomorrow night. That's our goal at the beginning of the season. <laughs> means the world to us. Mike, as you look at Lakeville North, they're uh, undefeated. Very few teams have ever accomplished that. Is that going to be weighing on their minds at all, or no. do you think they're just going to take care no. of business? I think they're just going to take care of business. Saturday in St. Paul, Duluth East against Lakeville North. If we take 
taking care of our business today. We will have a special number attached to us, 31, the only team to ever go 31 and 0 and have a perfect season. has just been kind of workmanlike. That, that would be the best way. To, they, they put their work boots on, they put their hard hat on, and they're just getting the job done. Well, that's exactly right, Joe. They are, just play a fundamentally sound hockey game. They keep the plays simple. The defensemen move it D-to-D, -D, get the puck up to the wings, they get in deep, and they really make those difficult plays look simple. They're a really sound team. This offense is on another level. in the conversation with the greatest team ever. I always say that's the hardest thing to do in sports, to be better than your height. This was the most hyped team of all time. This team have now won 27 straight for the second longest streak. Somebody will beat them. They will take a night off at some point. I don't know when they're going to lose, but if they lose, well, they got to lose at some point. <laughs> with a record of 30 and 0, the Lakeville North Panthers. If we take care of our business today, we will have a special number attached to us, 31. The only team to ever go 31 and 0. They have everything they need to win. They have big, strong defensemen. They have a first-class goaltender. They have two forward lines that would be first lines on anybody else's team. They're just going to take care of business without any trouble. Everybody wants to know what I would do if I didn't win. I guess we'll never know. cherish that moment for the rest of their life.